please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask please subscribe to the channel thank you friends welcome to free online tech videos and my name is Ravi in this video session we are going to see about uh, chadtr command so this command is used to change the file attributes on the linux file system which means that whenever you wanted to set some permissions example say that i have one user and uh, i set some permissions okay uh, let's example uh, one file is there i set some permissions so uh, like um, maybe i get f uh, i applied full permissions for the file okay triple seven in the sense user and group and others also has a full permissions but whereas I don't want to delete those files okay still they have the permissions but I don't want to delete the files uh, I wanted to protect them okay so in this case the chattr is the command it will change the attributes of the files which apply the uh, extra attributes to protect the files in certain cases like uh, so many users are they so suddenly they they want to run some commands okay like uh, rmf and rf they run st star something like that okay but still i don't want to delete some files unfortunately because those files are maybe a, a important and uh, extremely uh, important for our uh, projects and organization okay then how you can use them how chttr can be applied the attributes to that files okay so in this case uh, there are three symbols which can be used okay plus sign which causes the selection attributes to be added to the files okay the next one is the minus okay it will be remove the attributes from the file okay equal to equal to in the sense along with the ch command ch attr command if you use place which will add the attribute to the file or the directory okay if you use minus which will remove the attributes from the file or directory equal to which means that whatever the attributes are there the attributes will be as it is there is no change in the attributes okay this is these are the symbols we use along with the ACC, uh, ch attr command and there are some options okay there are so many options in this but most of the options uh, in ext2 and ext3 and ext4 file system they do not work they work only for xfs or the other file systems okay and they may not useful in the all the situations okay but whereas we have um, uh, a option okay small a option which will be for appending the files okay if you apply these attributes the file can only be appended so that cannot be deleted or removed or you cannot do anything on this you can only append the text okay so the next one is the capital a in the sense thus capital a will what it will do is that it will not change any time updates for that file which means whenever you modified if you update some file it will change the timestamp of that file but if you apply these attributes it does not change the file at uh, file time okay it keeps the same one okay if you apply small c option which will compress the data of the file so whenever you are writing whenever you are uh, writing some data to that file so whenever it is pushing to the data so it's compressed and stored into the file okay and uh, if you apply capital c okay so this one is the no copy and write no copy and write so there are uh, another options also there is also d option so which is for no dump okay you can also use capital d okay synchronize there directly updates okay you can also use uh, e option okay this this e option is to be an immutable okay so there are so many things like this j option also is there t option also is there but these all the options may not be used on all the situations but most of the cases our options will be useful here is that so small a um, capital r and i 
is the options mostly used and to protect the files how it can be protected in the practical scenario let's go and see okay so i'm just seeing here some files are there okay before that what i'm going to do is that ch mode i'm just changing the files of this this input data to be triple seven okay so this file has full permissions to the all the users so okay read and write and execute all the permissions are there in this file okay so what i'm doing is that i'm going to apply a place a symbol in the sense it can only be append the file it cannot be deleted the file okay so i'm applying this file here so my app attributed applied so you can go and rsatt at that file you can see that the attribute is applied or not okay a attribute is already applied to that file now i'm just switching back to the other user okay i have another okay so this cannot be accessed because i am I, these files are created in root right okay now i'm going to do something like this echo append data okay so i'm just appending the data to this file yes it's append input data so you can see that append data okay let's try to delete this file sorry let's try to delete this file i am into root user and i have full permission so it is saying that cannot remove input data operation not permitted which means that you can only append the data to that file you cannot delete the file that is called as an append mode is to be applied on this file okay let's take another example is that example i okay what this i will do okay i will do as an a immutable immutable in the sense this is also applied that permissions and you can also delete the files you can also apply to the directory are the files let's example say that i am just changing these permissions of uh, this command triple seven i just changed it okay that is a directory actually so full permissions now chattr and apply i bc test okay and another file i am just uh, using um, maybe i may apply the file permissions to file one okay if you try this file to remove so vg says the permission not permitted in the sense that it cannot be able to remove the operation is not supported okay let's try on um, this directory what is saying the permission denied and cannot be deleted which means you can protect the files okay ls att here you can check it out that attribute is applied or not okay it's not applied right no it's applied because it's in a directory it's not shows ls att here directly you can use iphone d option to see that directory attributes which is applied or not okay again you can remove the attributes by looking at iphone i i am doing for file one and i am trying again now file one oh the file one is deleted okay and uh, you can also apply the files permissions recursively on the directories in the sense if you apply the permissions to the directory that permissions will be applied to the all the files within the files you can see that here there are the so many files in this three files in this directory but these are not applied there is only for the directory only it is applied here okay now what i am doing here is that chattr iphone capital r plus i and you can just bc command now you can see that lss list out see it is applied to the directory and it's also applied to the inside of that files okay this is the chr attr command if you want to remove you can just uh, do iphone r minus and uh, you can see now ls attr removed okay ls attr iphone d bc command it's uh, removed so like this you can apply the attributes to the ch 
using the chattr command and you can um, get files and directories are protected against the deletion okay there are other attributes also like the c s and u attributes are not honored by the file system like ext2 ext3 and ext4 okay file systems because the kernel what version is more than 2.5.19 and later those options can be supported and the file system can be not the file system is not xc2 or ext3 or ext4 the file system may be xfs or different file systems okay there is also you can use the journaling option j option is only useful if the file system is mounted on ext3 and ext4 okay so this is about this attr command change the attribute the file change the attributes of the files and directories and protect them whenever you want a important files okay thanks for watching stay tuned for more updates please subscribe to the channel thank you